Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and yes, it is me. I've got a secret to tell you, but first of all, let's talk about the do-rag that I made, and she's wearing it because it doesn't look good on me. So this is the do-rag that I made the uh, yesterday. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. She She wears it well. You have to have the right shaped face, and Pamela's adoring crochet has the right shaped face. Now, the secret. Here, you can have her head. Take her head. <laughs> <laughs> the secret is, everybody's been commenting on my hair. And somebody actually said to me, I don't know, a long time ago, I thought you had curlier hair. Well, I do have curlier hair. But, because of all this crazies, I decided I would try something new. And, and this was the something new. I'm letting you know now. I was, I was cheating the whole time. And I will put this back on because I'm sure, and what you do is you just, it's Polly Young. Polly Young and I had a secret. <laughs> so we're going to put it on and then you'll see what, how quick it is. It's only like seconds. I should probably turn the camera off when I do this. I don't know. No, you can leave it on because I can, I can cut it. cut it if I want to. But uh, actually, actually it's. Done. Shows how shows quick how it quick. is. And this is how fast I can do my hair. Mm -hmm. Look at that, I'm back. Hi. Whoops, I forgot to take the headband off. Oops. <laughs> forgot. Oh, now you really see badness. Okay. I'll put it back on. I could feel it underneath the thing. We'll put it back on. This is how, f that's how fast it is. Where's the ear tabs? Got to find the ear tabs. And on it goes fix my hair, make myself purdy. You're always purdy. Yeah, I know. Even when I take this thing off, you tell me that. There we go. And now I'm back! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty easy. Okay, now I did have, I know this is, that's crazy, but I do have a little video to put in. I'm going to put it in right here. I was working on onions and I thought I would show you what I'm doing. So, before I get too far, because I've already started and I thought, well, maybe you'd like to know what I do with onions. I don't eat onions very often, but I do eat them. And um, what I'm doing right now is I'm cutting onions up and I'm going to freeze these so that they can last a long time. But I wanted to show you how I cut up onions, like this one I've already sliced through. I will show you on this one. I leave, when I peel them, I leave the stem part there so that when you're, when you're chopping, I just go down like this. And this way, this stem holds it in, from falling apart. And I cut down through. And I'm just making, um, I'm not going to mince these real tight, but I'm making little, little, and then I just cut through like this, which a lot of you have cut onions before. And because I don't like to waste, even though that top layer is kind of slippery, I will keep it. I'm really not a wasteful person. And I chop it up as close as I can to my little stem there. And I try to take as much as I can, and then this will be what I'll throw away. I'll just throw that out. And I was searching and searching for this thing. I knew I had one, but I was thinking, where the heck did I put it? Because I never use it. And I thought, well, this would be perfect for picking up onions and putting them in the pan. And I don't know if you know it or not, but when you're... Like a lot of times you'll use your knife to scrape. You never want to scrape with the cutting edge. You always use the back end to scrape with. Never use the cutting edge because you'll dull in it. Now when I peel the onions, I'm going to show you how I start. I cut the top part off. Now I've seen a lot of people, they would have, they would have stuck their finger into this layer and start peeling it away. And in my mind, I'm thinking, oh my goodness, they're wasting all that onion. I don't like to waste any of the onion. So I, I will take the time to try to peel 
rather than make it go fast. I don't, I'm, I'm patient in that way. See, this is the part that I will get rid of. And this, because it's got color on it, I will get rid of that too. I'll break it down. And because this side is nice, I'm not going to ruin, I'm not going to take that away. That would be wasteful. I, you can tell I grew up in a home of, of people that were lived through the Depression because I have a tendency to not waste just like they didn't waste. You weren't allowed to waste then, and I'm not, I don't let myself waste now. This is bad, so I'm going to cut that off. But yes, a lot of people waste a lot of stuff that I would consider wasteful. It's a little piece of something there I don't want. I'll take that off. Okay, and then I just cut down through the core. And I start all over again. I just... I hope I'm in the frame. I can't tell where I'm at because I'm not looking at the camera at all. And the thing that shows me what I should see is facing the wrong way, so I wouldn't even know if I'm in it or not. I have four more onions that need to be chopped. All the onion skins will go on the compost. The video, my eyes didn't even tear, but my nose did run a little. The onions that you saw that I chopped up, they must have been very mild onions because I did not even, my eyes didn't tear. And um, Teresa Harp and Pamela Adoring Crochet had asked if they wanted to see the plastic bags, how I cut them and how I crochet them. So I will do that in one of these videos. I don't know which one, but it will come up. I will put it in. And the reason I... I keep looking at myself. <laughs> the reason I, I put the wig on and don't have the wig on is... Well, this, this might hurt people's feelings if I say it. I don't know. It's okay for them, but it's not okay for me. Um... I'm not one that likes to stay with something for a long time. That's why I have no tattoos because I I would want to change it up or erase it or something or change it. Like right now I'm wearing red. I like red right now, but I used to wear blue. Everything was blue. And red was in my closet and I never wore red. And like nail polish... I sometimes like nail polish on and sometimes I don't. Sometimes I like long nails, sometimes I like short nails, and sometimes, um, what else do I like to change up that I don't like to stick? I don't like to stick with anything for any length of time. It's a wonder I stuck with Jim. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we were talking is. about that. We've been, <laughs> we'll be married in July. We'll be married 40 years. It's hard to believe. I remember when he asked me to marry him, I was like, oh gosh, now I can't even look. I hope this is the thing I should be doing because <laughs> I really was. It's permanent. I, you know, you're holding that lady's head lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yes. She's your new girl. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> there is well, no other girl. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little secret. I had a secret. And it's been a long time coming. And I was deciding, trying to decide, how should I tell you that I, you know, my hair never grew. All you others, it grew. But, you know, under the wig, it grows. And then I, I would cut the bottom off and I would leave the sides and I cut the top a little bit. But I haven't been to the beauty parlor. I should go and get just the top cut. Because I'm liking the back now. Um, but... That's why my hair kind of looked the same all the time. And those of you that noticed that it was different, it is different. And I said, I never lied to any of you. I always said, I'm doing, I'm trying something different. Which, oh, this is different. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, I was trying is. something different. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.